G'day there, from the home of any idea is at least worth a look at times like these. You have to say the concept of wealthy pitching in $50 million a piece in return for a visa. Not a bad one. It'll attract the usual xenophobic hyper-reaction, of course, and it will or should depend on what the sort of investment is we're talking about, because previously, before this government locked out a lot of foreigners, driven by their combination of New Zealand First's dislike of foreign people and Labour's sheer naivety over housing and the belief that stopping an American billionaire buying a $15 million bolt hole was somehow going to help a first-home buyer get into the bungalow market, this country was in fact open for business, you might remember, and that's the general theme we should be looking at these days. Tourism basically is stuffed for a long time and domestic travel will help, we hope it will help, but it won't make up for that 25% the Chinese and the Americans provided. And although housing is a bit of an open question at the moment, given no one really has a handle on what's going to happen given it's closed right now, we need to be looking at every and all opportunities to help where we can. And making this a destination once again is the most obvious of starts. I would have thought we already were a magnet of sorts for the world. What we take for granted is treasured by those that don't have it. A tiny place at the bottom of the world, isolation an island, sparse population, and yet connected to the planet and with a level of sophistication in various areas that doesn't make us a backwater. We are as appealing as it gets. The visa idea is a $100 billion idea. That's 33% of our old GDP. Equally, and perhaps much more accessible, is the housing market, especially for places like Queenstown and those that rely on the tourists. I mean, the world is full of people who may not have, say, 50 million, but do have 10 or 5 million. They're the ones that bought the big houses beforehand. And the research showed they didn't tilt the market. They were just 3%, and that was just the offshore foreigners. Until the government decided we hated them, of course, they were an important and lucrative part of the housing market. A country needs to sell what it does well. It did tourism well, but not now. We still do farming and feeding well. We still export well. We are still an attractive jewel at the bottom of the world for a house, for some land, for some investment, for a future. Just look at this place and put it on a brochure. If you can't sell that for top dollar, you don't know how to sell.